What's up? It's Dooza. I, uh, about one o'clock in the morning, but I want to bring you guys my first commentary. Uh, first of all, I'll let you guys know about the video. We're watching a little sniper gameplay here from Zooted. Um, great commentator. Go check his channel out. Uh, we'll try to put it in the description along with mine. But anyway, I wanted to tell you guys about my experience at UMG Orlando 2015. Oh my god. Great event, <clears throat> great venue, great place to stay, super proud of our team, just the guys did great. We came in fourth, um, got put out by Denial, and uh, then Denial got put out by Stunner, and then obviously you guys seen that game where Optic ended up taking them in that uplink game. But uh, dude, I just wanted to say... Going into that, I was not expecting the hype that everybody talked it up to be. It really is every bit of it. The VIP lounge, hanging out with the players, hanging out with the fans, just being able to go out there. It's like a vacation. It literally is a vacation for people that aren't players. Now, players, I can understand that it's their job. It, it's basically what they what they have worked forever for so but uh, walking around out there uh, and and seeing I've never seen so many Xbox consoles in my life first of all but uh, sharing a few stories with you guys getting out there obviously I got to meet uh, Snacks and, and Julio and uh, Ross from Activision um, let's see Camage was out there uh, Phase Banks, uh, all the Gamma and Scuff people were there. Uh, it was just, it was really, it was a lot of fun being able to meet some of those guys that, that I've played with. Um, I hadn't played with Phase Banks a lot. And I played with, you know, Kamaj and a few of them other people. And then, um, obviously I played with, uh, Big Snacks and, and, uh, I played with Julio a couple of times, but we're all sitting there and, and, um, Hanging out in the VIP lounge is, is kind of the, the funnest part, I think, about it, besides obviously watching the, the games on main stage. Um, being able to sit there and talk to all the players and, and, and get to know people, you know, face to face. Uh, me being a car salesman, face to face kind of talking is, is a lot better than obviously over a phone or over internet in any way. Um, one thing that I want to tell you guys is anytime that you go to an event, fly. Straight up fly. Do not drive. I drove 16 hours from Arkansas all the way to Orlando, Florida. And it is not... It, don't get me wrong. The views and, and everything you get to see is great. But it, it's just it's not that fun at all. Um, one thing, though, about driving is... I know a lot of people on Xbox. So one of my buddies, Jordan, uh, known as Chief Edwards on Xbox, he uh, he lives in Atlanta and was like, "Yo, dude, called me up. He's like, I know you're going to Orlando. I live 15 minutes out of Orlando or out of uh, Atlanta. Stop up here and we can chill." I was like, "All right, cool." So I met him straight up at his house. We hung out there for a little bit and went and grabbed some pancakes at the IE Hop and. Um, after that, I left straight from there and, and drove the rest of the way. I, I was up for two days straight when I got there. You know, I lost so much rest doing that. Like I said, next time, I don't. I think the next event's in Columbus. Uh, I will be flying there. I really think it's on my birthday too. Um, if if everybody's correct on the dates, the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd, my birthday is February the 22nd. So definitely going to be some partying going on. I'll be turning 24. Uh, and and going to be enjoying it too so um, when you guys go to UMG I highly recommend to get the VIP pass if you don't get the VIP pass there, there's perks with it obviously you get to go into the lounge chill with everybody and then believe it or not uh, this one guy when I was walking in thought I didn't have a VIP pass when I was walking in maybe the first or second day there and I had a monster and, and some food and stuff and he stopped me and told me that I had to eat it out there because there's no food and drink in the venue 
And I was like, really? And then he noticed my tag at eventually that it said VIP. VIPs can have food and drink in the venue. And so that was a lifesaver because I was super tired. I was sleep cranking as much monster as I could, uh, but especially the first and second day to get my energy back up before I, you know, could actually cheer my team on. But um, there were so many people there, and, and the majority of the people there, sadly, uh, wasn't there for justice, but they were there for optic and and seeing their fan base. I, I really, I'm really excited to to want to grow our team that big. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff coming. Um, I kind of heard a little bit of the inside. When I was there. I was I was with snacks, so but uh, I can't release none of that information. Uh, that's that's a uh, private intel, but. Uh, uh, a lot of things coming that uh, he has planned for our team. A great, great leader, great owner, great everything that you can think of. He's a good guy. And uh, anyway, um, one of the stories that I have also with uh, being there is when when I was in the lobby, I was talking to Nade Shot. He was signing autographs and all kinds of stuff. And he comes back, and this kid's dad looks at him, his son, or this kid's son looks at his dad, and says, "Dad, whatever Nate shot eats at McDonald's, I really would like to know because I want to eat that as well." So that made Nate shot look straight in my eyes <laughs> and go, "Golden, that's just fucking golden." Oh God, dude, it's just just great times, but. Um, Hope everybody enjoyed the video and uh, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you later. Deuces.